For decades, Warren Buffett's value investing approach has served as a beacon for investors seeking to build true wealth. He once said, It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. This encapsulates the core principle behind his remarkable success, identifying undervalued companies with exceptional long-term potential. In just a second, I'll show you how Warren Buffett consistently picks winning stocks for Berkshire Hathaway. As you later find out, Buffett focuses on identifying incredible companies trading for less than they're actually worth. Watch this full guide to discover how this works and change your own investing game forever. See, unlike many investors who chase trends and indicators, Buffett adheres to a value investing philosophy. This means he prioritizes a company's inherent worth, its long-term fundamentals, over short-term market fluctuations. But how does he do this with so much precision? He meticulously analyzes a company's financial health, particularly focusing on official filings like earnings reports and income statements. This financial detective work helps him determine a company's intrinsic value, essentially, what the business is truly worth based on its current financials and future potential. Here's the thing. Buffett will look for companies with a proven track record. He looks for businesses that consistently generate strong earnings, boast a healthy return on equity, and have strong leadership. But that's not all. Buffett is patient enough to wait for the right opportunity to acquire these exceptional companies at a reasonable price. Ideally, even when they're undervalued by the market. This next section explores deeper into the specific criteria Buffett considers when making these crucial investment decisions. The thing is, Warren Buffett cares more about a company's ability to consistently deliver. That's why he places a premium on a strong return on equity, or ROE, a metric that shows how much profit a company generates from each dollar of shareholder equity. But here's the catch. A single year of impressive ROE doesn't impress him. He wants to see a rock-solid track record, ideally spanning several years, 5 to 10 at least. Consistent, healthy ROE indicates a company's efficiency at turning investments into profits. The longer this pattern persists, the more confident Buffett becomes in the company's ability to maintain the success in the future. Stay tuned, because next up, we'll explore another crucial factor in Buffett's investment philosophy how much debt the company has. You see, debt can be a double-edged sword for companies. It can fuel expansion and innovation, but too much of it can become a nuisance. That's why Buffett keeps an eye on a company's debt-to-equity ratio. A high ratio is a big red flag for him, especially when coupled with earnings growth fueled by more debt, like through acquisitions. Buffett favors companies that can generate strong earnings from their existing shareholder equity, the money they received from issuing stock. A company with positive shareholder equity is essentially living within its means, generating enough cash flow to not only cover its debts, but also to invest back into the business for future success. The financial self-sufficiency is a key indicator of a company's long-term health and resilience. Consider supporting this channel by hitting the subscribe button as it helps us grow. Now, Profit margins are another battleground where Buffett separates winners from losers. He gravitates towards companies with healthy profit margins, especially those that are consistently expanding. Just like ROE, he does not allow himself to get duped by a one-time blip. He digs deeper, analyzing profit margins over several years to find out if it's a sustainable trend. The truth is that companies that consistently grow their profit margins year after year indicate not only a strong ability to generate profits from sales, but also a strong management team skilled in controlling operating costs. After all, squeezing more profit out of each sale while keeping expenses in check is a recipe for long-term success. Here's what's truly fascinating. Warren Buffett gives special attention to companies with distinctive products or services those that stand out in the market and can't be easily replaced. He understands that uniqueness is a moat that protects against competition. Take an oil company, for instance. If its main product is generic crude oil, it's just another player amongst hundreds of other suppliers. 
But if it taps into a rare, high-quality crew that's in demand, suddenly it has an edge. A competitive advantage that could lead to sustained profits over the years. Buffett's investment in Coca-Cola is a classic example of this principle in action. Despite a world full of soft drinks, there's only one Coca-Cola, a brand so iconic that its name is synonymous with the product itself. This uniqueness has translated into a remarkable investment for Berkshire Hathaway. Starting with a $1.3 billion investment in 1994, the annual dividends from Coca-Cola grew from $75 million to an incredible $704 million by 2022. It's a true demonstration of the power of investing in companies whose products are not just commodities, but cultural staples. Buffett's strategy is clear. Invest in companies whose products can't be easily replicated or substituted. It's a strategy that looks for the extraordinary among the ordinary, seeking out those rare gems that promise not just returns, but a legacy of sustained growth and success. But wait, just how much discount are shares trading at? Now we reach the heart of Buffett's value investing philosophy, the discount. See, value investors like Buffett are on a relentless hunt for companies trading below their intrinsic worth. These are companies with strong fundamentals, think consistent profitability, and healthy margins. But for some reason, the market has overlooked them, causing their share price to dip. The bigger the discount, the more attractive the opportunity becomes in Buffett's eye. It signifies a higher margin of safety, meaning there's a buffer built in to protect his investment if the market takes a downturn. Here's the kicker. By buying undervalued companies, Buffett positions himself to benefit not just from the company's inherent growth potential, but also from the eventual market correction that brings the share price closer to its true intrinsic value. It's important to remember that determining intrinsic value isn't an exact science. It's a calculated presumption based on various factors, like future earnings potential, management strength, and the overall health of the business. But for Buffett, the effort is well worth it. Up next, we'll explore the concept of growth versus value and uncover how it safeguards Buffett's investments. Here's the thing. While Warren Buffett is a champion of value investing, it's important to recognize that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Growth investing offers a contrasting perspective, attracting investors with a different risk tolerance and outlook. Think of growth investors as venture capitalists of the stock market. They're captivated by the thrill of the chase, seeking out companies with the potential for explosive growth, even if the share price already reflects that optimism. These are often young, innovative companies poised to disrupt their industries. Think of tech startups or companies in rapidly growing sectors like electric vehicles or renewable energy. The potential rewards can be staggering, but so is the risk. The truth is, growth stocks can be volatile and their breakneck growth rates aren't guaranteed. They can fizzle out just as quickly as they take off. Buffett, on the other hand, is aware of this high-risk, high-reward reality. He prefers the stability and predictability of established companies with a proven track history. These companies, while not likely to experience meteoric growth spurts, offer a more reliable path to consistent profitability. They may be railroads or consumer goods companies. Not exactly the flashiest businesses, but they've weathered economic downturns, proving their ability to generate profits over the years. Ever wondered what stocks keep Berkshire Hathaway running for decades? Let's explore some of Buffett's biggest holdings as of December 31st, 2023, each one a reflection of a key principle in Buffett's value investing philosophy. We all know Apple. It's a loyal fan base, constant innovation, and powerful brand recognition make it a driving force in Buffett's eyes. Apple exemplifies a strong moat, a unique advantage that shields the company from competition. But that's not all. The Bank of America brings stability and value to the table. As a major player in finance, it benefits from economic growth while staying strong during downturns. Now, in the ever-changing energy landscape, Chevron stands out with its proven track record and future-focused strategy. 
Buffett loves companies with a lasting edge, and Chevron delivers with vast oil reserves, technological expertise, and the ability to adapt to new energy demands. The iconic Coca-Cola is the textbook example of a strong brand moat. Its dominance and consistent profitability make it a long-term winner for Buffett. Their loyal customers and global reach ensure a steady stream of income for years to come. Even more interesting in his portfolio, American Express, another established financial player, provides reliable income and growth potential within Berkshire Hathaway. Similar to Bank of America, it benefits from economic expansion and has a history of generating consistent profits. If you take a closer look at these holdings, you'll have a clearer picture of what drives Warren Buffett's investment choices. From prioritizing brand strength and long-term success to seeking stability and consistent growth, these companies showcase the core principles of a successful value investing approach. While value investing is a cornerstone of Buffett's philosophy, his wisdom extends far beyond that. Perhaps his most crucial message is to invest in yourself first. This means dedicating time to become a knowledgeable and disciplined investor. There's no substitute for education and research when it comes to navigating the complex world of finance. But here's what's truly interesting. Buffett emphasizes the need to save money regularly. Live within your means, avoid unnecessary debt, and reinvest your profits. These habits lay the foundation for long-term financial security and allow you to take advantage of investment opportunities as they arise. And as we've already seen, Buffett is a staunch advocate for long-term investing. He's not in the business of chasing quick profits. Instead, he seeks companies with the potential for sustained growth over a long period. This patient buy-and-hold strategy has been the driving force behind his remarkable success. By focusing on a company's intrinsic value and competitive edge, and by holding on to those investments for the long haul, Buffett has been able to weather market downturns and grow true wealth over the years. While replicating his exact approach might be the best idea in your own journey, the core principles he embodies can be your true game changer. Let us know your personal thoughts in the comments section. And if you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.